Hello and welcome to the series of tutorials on utilizing online resources for climatic research. First one is for extracting data from NCDC website. So first we have to write National Climatic Data Center. This will guide this website. And there we have to go for search for map. So then global and global summary of the day. So the website looks like this. First we have to uncheck the default one and we have to check the uh, day, summary of the day. So these dot points are the available data for the entire world. This is provided by WMO with uh, NCDC joint program. So now we select some area where I have, uh, this is my study area for my PhD research. So there are various way you can extract data. So if some specific place needed, we can write down there and then if we go for a country, we can select the country name. For the moment, we are using a drag and drop toolbox. So once we select, these are the list of stations that are available and we can see there the period of data available for the time, be for the time that they provided and there are the latitude longitude and the elevation of each indi independent stations so we check there and get selected data it will take some time and then we have to select the time period that we are interested in let's say we are going to go for 2001 1st january to 2010 and 31st december now continue it takes some time based on the amount of data that we asked for here it is so the text file contains the data so they looks like this station number year month day temperature average temperature dew point and these are the other variables so we are going, we can have a quick look of the stations over there the station IDs and then we copy all those control A and then we paste it somewhere in the NCDC folder with a new text file and then we can paste so these are the data from NCDC website to to my computer now we, have, uh, we can see there are several problems with that first of all the there are some unexpected characters so I listed down all those things so first one is the discontinuity here you can see first January after 7th January so there in between there is no data and it's given in Fahrenheit scale so we have to uh, if our hydrological model wants centigrade and the other problems is inch star and some other characters these are explained in this file the metadata so the explanation of the scales so we can read those things from there now we are going to filter those data through any software like R or MATLAB because we if we want to have all those points independently as a independent precipitations and temperature so you have to write some script let's say these are the all the stations are look uh, with this file so we are going to have independent station for that we open R and we set up the directory on the NCDC here we our data is located so uh, we have written some script so if you run those script so it will generate those data So now let's run and see. So you see this is generating the independent precipitation station, temperature station. So we can see one. This is SWAT formatted. I'm using a hydrological model that wants this format. For any kind of question, of course you can send me an email. This is very important source for data sparse region.